I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. It's that time of the day again when you get an update on what's cooking, what's happening in the tropics. And we actually have a lot going on considering it is very late in hurricane season. We are in the final month, but we have not one but two hurricanes across the Atlantic Basin that we are tracking. So let's get right to it because we've got lots of action. This is Hurricane Lisa and it is pretty much starting to make landfall right now very near Belize City where we do have hurricane warnings all up and down the coast of Belize and some hurricane warnings as well for parts of the Yucatan Peninsula. You can see Cozumel there and we have a lot of rain with this. The potential for that dangerous storm surge and also some damaging wind gust potential because this system has strengthened since we talked yesterday. So you can see that it is beginning to push onto land. You can see that counterclockwise swirl. It is still pretty symmetrical, still pretty well organized, but after this landfall, which will likely take several hours, it is going to quickly weaken as it moves over land. So that is the good news. Let me give you the latest coordinates for Lisa, which as I mentioned is a category one hurricane and it is very near the coast of Belize starting to make landfall 85 mile per hour maximum sustained winds movement to the west at 12 miles per hour and that pressure down to 990 millibars and this is as of the latest 4 p.m. advisory. You can see it here. It is going to push right over Belize. It's going to clip part to the Yucatan Peninsula as well with that heavy rain, the strong wind gusts and some of that storm surge potential. Then it's going to push into other parts of Mexico and eventually likely make its way into the Bay of Campeche, southern Gulf of Mexico. But if you're wondering, oh my goodness, is it going to head towards southeast Texas and head our way? The answer is no. It actually should be a tropical depression, likely by tomorrow afternoon and evening, quickly weakening 35 mile per hour winds expected by 1 p.m., 35 mile per hour winds by Friday at 1 p.m., same deal, Thursday 1 p.m. As we go into Saturday, it is in the southern Gulf, but it is going to kind of get shoved back down to the south by Sunday. So it is going to start that northerly track over the weekend, but then it will likely do a little loop or a little curve back to the south and head back towards Mexico as it is expected to dissipate as we go into the second half of the weekend on Sunday. So a pretty powerful category one hurricane now, but quickly diminishing and fading as we go through the next couple of days as it moves over Central America and parts of Mexico. So that is Hurricane Lisa. We also have Hurricane Martin to talk about. It is November after all, so this is pretty rare. I think it's only been maybe a couple other times where we've had multiple hurricanes in the month of November. So let's talk about Martin. It is currently several hundred miles off to the north and east of Bermuda, and it is in the central Atlantic trying to make its way into the northern Atlantic. Not often you get a hurricane this far north, but this is what we have. Hurricane Martin currently with 85 mile per hour winds movement to the northeast at 31 miles per hour. So it is booking it to the north northeast and that pressure continues to just crash in this one. So this one is definitely getting stronger. That pressure down to 974 millibars. So it will continue on that north to northeasterly track. Over the next day or so, it likely will begin to lose those tropical characteristics, but it is forecast to become a Category 2 hurricane by tomorrow. But then after that, it's going to be moving into that colder water. So the structure of the system will start to change. It's going to lose those tropical characteristics since it's not in that warm water, but it's still going to maintain that very strong wind field. So it is still forecast to have some pretty strong winds as it gets close to, get this, Greenland and not far from Iceland, not very often that you talk about what was once a tropical system getting anywhere close to Greenland or Iceland, but that's what we have with Hurricane Martin. But by then, as I mentioned, it will be extra tropical and those tropical characteristics will be going away due to the fact that it is moving over that much colder water. So we've got Hurricane Lisa in the Western Caribbean starting to make landfall in Central America near Belize City. We've got Hurricane Martin in the Central Atlantic not expected to impact land, but it could impact some of those shipping channels in that area. But the good news, no major land areas impacted with Martin. And then we've got this area that we're going to have to monitor, the area that you see highlighted in yellow that does include Puerto Rico. There's a 20% shot that we could have an area of low pressure developing here by this weekend that could 
start to gain some tropical characteristics. So that is what we're going to be tracking over the next few days. That would be either in the Northeast Caribbean or the Southwest Atlantic. We're not sure exactly where that's going to form, but this is the general area where we could have that area of low pressure getting organized. Some models are indicating that could potentially happen, so we will keep a close watch on that. If we do get any additional systems, we've still got plenty of warm water out here. Sea surface temps in the low to middle 80s for much of the Gulf of Mexico, much of the Caribbean. So we're talking about very warm water to help to fuel these storm systems as they try to develop and get stronger and try to turn into tropical storms or maybe hurricanes. So hurricane season not over with yet. That's why we are keeping you updated daily because we could still have more action. We've got two hurricanes out there now in the month of November. Typically the peak of hurricane season Usually in September, we usually start to see the number of named storms going up in August, although we had no named storms in August for this hurricane season. That was definitely rare, but normally we start to see the number of named storms going up in August and then September. We hit that peak right around September 10th. Then we start to go down the roller coaster again as we get into October and especially November. Very few tropical cyclones usually for the month of November and one that makes landfall here in Southeast Texas even more rare in November, but it's not out of the question. We can't rule it out and it's something that we are monitoring closely because you can never say never. So we're keeping a close eye on what's happening in the Atlantic Basin in the Pacific Basin. Pacific is quiet right now, but of course, if something develops, you will know that as well. But let's talk about the Atlantic Basin because now we have Hurricane Lisa, we have Hurricane Martin, and if we continue to get these systems popping up, maybe that area that could develop in the Puerto Rico vicinity, that if it develops would be named Nicole. And then we'd have Owen, Paula, Richard, Sherry, then Tobias. So we've still got some names to get through. Hopefully we won't have to get through all of those, but we are still in hurricane season and there could still be more development. So that's why we like to get on our YouTube page and give you these updates daily so that you will stay up to date on what's happening out there with the tropics. So right now we're monitoring those two hurricanes. And of course, we've got our own local weather to deal with as well. We've got a big time storm system headed our way late Friday and Saturday that could bring another big round of severe weather. That's why it's always great to have our Fox 26 weather app downloaded on your phone, your tablet. Make sure you have it. That way you are always in the know, on the go. You can track the rain, the threat for severe weather. You can get those warnings, advisories, alerts, no matter where you are. As long as you've got your phone, you've got your tablet, you will know what's going on and you can stay safe. So make sure to grab the Fox 26 weather app if you haven't already. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, at Ramesha Shade TV, at Ramesha Shade Weather, and at Ramesha Shade on Instagram. Have a great rest of your day and stay safe out there. And once again, let's go Astros World Series tonight.